Developing tonight, it will be up to a grand jury to decide if a Houston man will face criminal charges after he was shot by his wife. That shooting happened this morning at a home in southeast Houston, and police say their adult son was in the home when this all happened. Channel 2's Andy Sirota is live to explain why the husband might be charged. Andy. That's right, Keith. Police say the wife shot her husband in self-defense after he punched her in the face. This all stemmed from an incident that took place last night. Police say that's when the husband confronted his wife in a restaurant parking lot and pointed a gun at her. He fled that scene. She filed a police report, and investigators say this morning he returned to the couple's home here and confronted her again. Beyond the yellow caution tape, the Southeast Houston home where police say a husband attacked his wife this morning in their bedroom. The husband punched the wife, caused her some bruising and some pain to her cheek, and she responded in self-defense by shooting him one time. The wife, who police say had a license to carry, responded by shooting him in the shoulder with a 9 millimeter. The bullet lodged in his neck. The husband wasn't armed, but investigators say they found a 45 caliber pistol inside of his car parked in the driveway. The couple has four kids. Only the 19-year-old son was home at the time in his room. Police say he told them his parents' 20-year marriage has been on the rocks for quite some time. They'd been separated for about a year. A neighbor says she was shocked when she saw the flashing lights from the police cars, telling us the couple seemed to always make it a point not to draw attention to themselves. And right now, police are not releasing the husband's name. They tell me they would like to see him charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon for the incident that took place last night. They hope to speak with him in the hospital sometime soon, where he is now being treated. Live in Southeast Houston, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. Andy, thank you.